It's been many years now since Nintendo changed the game with the Wii, the little motion-controlled console which broke away from the competition and started a revolution. Its brilliantly compact design and approachable and accessible controller helped it open up gaming to a whole new audience, young and old alike. Despite its reputation as a casual or kiddie console, Nintendo Wii hosted a huge library of fantastic and varied titles, the best of which took advantage of its unique controller and provided opportunities for experiences that simply weren't being offered on other consoles. Here are 10 of the best games ever released for the Nintendo Wii. Today we'll look at 10 more of the best 50 Nintendo Wii games ever released, and for this one it's numbers 30 through 21 based on user ratings. Number 30, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, user score 8.21 out of 10. Combining the two trilogies that reduced on GameCube into one package, the now misleadingly named LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga offers hours of low barrier family fun with dozens of payable characters blasting and lightsabering their way through your favourite locations all across the galaxy, all to the sound of John Williams' iconic score. 29, Sin and Punishment Star Successor, user score 8.26 out of 10. A sequel to Treasure's cult classic Nintendo 64 Rail Shooter, the sequel improves on the experience as it arguably the better of the two games. Yes, another fantastic addition to the huge and impressively varied console library. We're thankful we didn't have to resort to importing this one back in the day. 28 Kirby's Epic Yarn, user score 8.26 out of 10. A gorgeous, low stress game that transports Kirby into the world of fabric and threads, Kirby's Epic Yarn was the first good feels material based platformer and is arguably still one of the best. A lot of people say the game lacks any challenge and they would be correct, however they are missing the point entirely. Kirby's Epic Yarn is one of the most joyous and creative games on the Wii, or indeed any platform for sure. 27. Tatsunoko vs Capcom Ultimate All Stars, user score 8.27 out of 10. A crossover fighter bringing together Capcom's finest with the varied faces of Takaman, Karos, Jun the Swan, Gold Light and other luminary characters from Tatsunoko's IP's portfolio. Tatsunoko vs Capcom Ultimate All-Stars was an appropriately gorgeous, madcap and joyous console exclusive fighter on a system which missed out on some of the biggest franchises in the 2D fighting space. 26. Mega Man 9, user score 8.28 out of 10. Winding back the clock to Mega Man's nest roots with a potent throwback, Inti crates are Capcom tapped into our nostalgic beautifully with Mega Man 9, returning the bombardier to his original 8-bit stylings in the first numbered entry in the original series for 12 years, simply making it look aesthetic wouldn't have been enough though. Fortunately, Inti crates crafted a title, tight little run and gun platformer worthy of bearing the hollow digit. 25. WarioWare Smooth Moves, user score 8.3 out of 10. An early showcase of the Wii Remote, WarioWare Smooth Moves brought the mini gameplay and aesthetic of the handheld series to the Wii in an entry which surely ranks as the most widely played of any WarioWare title. You never quite knew what was coming next and this ranks up there alongside Wii Sports as an off the wall demonstration of the console's potential in those first few months. Number 24. New Play Control Pikmin, user score 8.34 out of 10. The new Play Control series brought back a host of GameCube titles with Wii Remote enhancements and other additions for a new audience. If you never played Pikmin originally on the little purple box, this is the perfect way to catch up. Thoroughly disappointing artwork though. Number 23, Muramasa the Demon Blade, user score 8.36 out of 10. A gorgeous side on action RPG, Muramasa the Demon Blade was ahead of the curve on side scrolling platformers that would arrive from indie studios over the next few years. Vanillaware's eye-catching adventure through Japanese folklore is still a treat to play over a decade on from its release. 22. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkachi 3 You just caught 8.37 out of 10, that was a mouthful. Another strong fight entry for the console, Dragon Ball Z Badokai Tenkachi 3, built on the gameplay and roster of its predecessors, with a huge number of characters and forms to play as. This entry also added online multiplayer to this series, letting you take on players from around the world. 21. The Last Story, user score 8.39 out of 10. Coming from Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy, The Last Story was an impressive RPG and one of the best big releases for the system. While I struggled from a technical perspective at the time, it's an ambitious title that's worth playing today if you missed it back in 2012. Along with Xenoblade Chronicles and Pandora's Tower, it's also notable as one of the title's North American players campaigned to see released in that territory. 
Nintendo, who published the game elsewhere, eventually granted XE publishing rights and it released six months after in PAL regions. So that's it, so I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to punch the like button, the comment down below, cross subscribe to this channel, follow my Twitter and Instagram links down below as always. And of course, we are partnered with you, buddy. First thing in the description for you, YouTube, Nick, tag that's fun, that's all the good stuff, so that's something that you are interested in uh, and will find helpful like I did. Uh, first thing in the description, trust me, I wonder how you get on right. And of course, our partner on the channel, so when you head down below, hit the join button, support myself and the channel, we greatly appreciate for a huge benefits. But of course, you never have to, but if you don't, you have to subscribe to my next video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll be next time, I'll see you all again very soon.